My mission uh, since starting at Riverview was to restore academic honor for all of our elementary schools, middle schools, and high school. One of the key words that I wanted to focus in on and really bring back to the district was hope. We began to reach out to our faith-based leaders and their leadership teams and began to provide them tours of our classrooms to allow them to see what was going on inside the classroom walls rather than just hearing what may be going on by somebody else's perception outside of school. The best thing that they did for us was to talk positively about the great work going on in Riverview. On my very first day of the job, the Missouri Supreme Court ruled in favor of allowing students to transfer to accredited districts from those districts that were unaccredited. Riverview Gardens at that time was one of only two unaccredited districts. We had about 1,400 students of our 6,400 students at that time sign up to transfer out of the district, which told me that we had a problem in the community. And so we had to work on rebuilding the trust and, and the reputation of our district with our parents, our community. We started out with 1,400 today. Uh, we have uh, only about 437 students left in student transfer. If you looked at our list of business partnerships, it's two and three paragraphs long. Why? Because when you're successful and you're doing great things for children, you want to reach out and do, the, do your part and do what you can to assist school districts because as our school districts go, so go our region. And so the stronger our schools are, the stronger our communities are. Our graduation rate in 2013 was 69%. This year, our annual report card will show a graduation rate of 85.2%, which is phenomenal. I could not be more proud or more excited to be the leader of the Riverview Garden School District because it takes all of us working together to make it happen, and I could not be more proud of my students, my staff, my family, and our community.